What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco Delia and today, since last time, people asked me to make a Q&A. Last week on my Instagram, I made a Q&A sticker. I created a sticker so you could ask me questions to reply on this English channel. So I'm going to reply to some questions, but before starting, I'm going to also, since this channel is basically new and many people don't know about me, I'm going to reply to the most basic questions that actually people always ask. So first of all, I'm 25 years old. I was born in the 1997. I'm from Italy. In in Peschiera del Garda, which is the northern side of Italy. My mother is from Bosnia and my dad is from Italy. I studied communication sciences in university for three years and then had many digital, uh, uh, many courses on marketing and digital marketing, self-development, entrepreneurship and social media. And in high school, I studied foreign languages, French, Spa French English, Italian, and German. I was a professional swimmer for 12 years. I competed also nationally. I started modeling when I was 18 years old. At 18 years old, I had a shift in my whole life. I stopped, um, I quit swimming. I had a girlfriend and I broke up with the girlfriend. I had a motorbike, I sold the motorbike. So many things happened. I found myself and my family in a struggling situation. So I had a shift, a click, a change that made me want to take charge of my life since in that period I was a bit depressed and every day, every night I was going out and coming back, doing nothing the whole day, coming back really late in the night. One day I had this click and I started reading books, I started developing myself, I started growing and after a while I started doing modeling which brought me to some modeling competitions like Mr. Model International, Mr. Italy and also Mr. World in the Philippines, in Miami. I went to radio, media interviews, TV, and so people start asking me how uh, things on social media, how to take care of yourself, how to start modeling, and so I start a YouTube channel, first in English, then switch to Italian, and this is the uh, English part that I want to bring up on a new different channel. Oh, and I'm 6.1, 186 centimeters, and I have one older brother. So these are basically the, the things that people keep asking every day. But here, let's start with the questions that you guys asked me. First of all, since you love Japanese culture, I love Japanese culture, and my uh, plan for the future is to go and retire in Japan after having a success in life and after impacting people and helping people to have to find out my dreams and what I want to do with my life. I keep growing daily, I do yoga daily, I have a growth routine that I do daily, meditation, and a lot of self-development for my mind, energy, and body. I'm still trying to figure out, but still every day, I keep going toward a better version of myself and after a success, after reaching freedom and the best version of myself and helping and impacting people, my goal is to just retire in Japan. I love that culture, I love everything about it. I see PewDiePie uh, going there, the, the one of the most followed YouTube channel uh, on YouTube and uh, I just fell in love with that also with that. I have a passion for the Orient part of the world. What's your top five favorite Japanese food? Udon, ramen, sushi, takoyaki, sushi in general, and onigiri, the first one. Onigiri is so good. My goals for 2023. Get more fit again, starting to earn more money, also through social media, moving and traveling more, keeping my growth routine, starting singing and martial arts again, trying to open a business, open English social media, the YouTube channel is already open, grow and better my social media, find my dream and follow it, comparing less and becoming stronger, enjoy more and hustle more and getting more virtues. For those of you who don't know, I also have a TikTok channel and an Instagram channel, I'll leave down in the description, in which I have more than 200,000 followers on TikTok and 20,000 followers on Instagram. And my first YouTube channel is 30,000 subscribers, but it's mostly in Italian. What is your current go-to fragrance? I don't have one. I test them daily. Every day I test more fragrances. So every day is just a new day for me to test out. Since I don't go out more, I spend most of the time in my bedroom. I just, whenever I go mostly to the gym or nighttime or whatever, I just pray or during the, the weekend, I just pray something and test it, see the performance and everything. So I just test out the fragrances they give me. It's been a while 
for me to uh, since I didn't buy a fragrance by myself because I keep receiving them so there's no point for me for now to buy one in case I really like one probably I'll buy it what film genre movie genre do you like watching I love horror movies and also anime what did you think was silly but you still try in you during New Year's Eve uh, one last thing that I remember the girl I was with had a um, coat a fur coat synthetic of course that she made and was so heavy that she had a um, neck ache so we switched for a while and I had this huge for I am already a super attention grabbing type of person that's also why I always wear total black and this kind of clothes but that time I had this blue electric type of for everybody was watching what's the best bad decision you have ever made no bad decisions I don't think there are bad and good decisions. It's just something that it's in our mind. There is no better path or bad path. It's just something that we made up. So there are only, in my opinion, opportunities for growth and luck. What small things makes you angrier than it should? Comparing myself to others on social media mostly. That's my one thing I'm fighting with most. Do you ever have lazy days? Yes, but I have a routine, a growth routine that I created by myself also with the help of some books that I read, like Getting Things Done and Miracle Morning and some other personal development books that I read years ago and I keep reading. So I have this routine that forces me to get things done anyway, every day, no matter uh, how do I feel, what my mood is, like a machine. But I still find during the day a way to balance this hustle because for me yes i hustle i work hard every day but i also think that if i take some little time for myself and just you know relax and enjoy myself i do the hustling part a bit better so uh, i spend most of the time working and doing my things i don't like take care of myself too much in that way i prefer to be a hustler and just work and do what's needed but sometimes i just you know for example i love playing broad stars on my phone sometimes and that's what i do would you spit into the meal of a rude customer if you were a waiter no i'm not that kind of person i try to sympathize and have compassion for everyone and i don't like rudeness i don't like even saying bad words I'm just that kind of guy uh, to, that empathize with everyone. So, and I don't like this unpolite stuff. I think no one is really bad. They all just are, you know, sometimes it's just their day. Sometimes it's just their ego. Sometimes it's just their circum circumstances. Sometimes it's just the way I react. So if I have to respond to things uh, in a way, I prefer to respond in a way that's useful for me and also for everyone else. Sorry guys, the last question, my camera died, just died, but <laughs> the last question was uh, if you ever had the chance in the past of doing something better, what could you have done better? Uh, I don't have this mindset of, you know, regretting stuff, but in my opinion, the Mr. World competition I did as Mr. World Italy in the Philippines, I think it could have done it better um, if I had the mindset of today. But, you know, uh, everything happens for a reason, so I'm just here to learn and fail and learn. So next time I will be much better no matter what happens. And that also made me grow a lot. So that's it, guys. These were the questions. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Thanks a lot for all the support on this channel. Let me know in the comments if you have any other question or DM me on Instagram. I'll reply to everyone. Happy New Year and I'll see you in the next videos. Peace.